Alternatives to top selling beauty. I'm Laura Ray. As you can see, I have no makeup on except for some brow product because I'm going to be applying some of the top selling makeup and give you some alternatives that are so much more affordable. We'll start with one of Ulta's top selling products, which is the Professional from Benefit. It's a wonderful product. It is a primer that is used to sort of fill in the pores. So when I apply this, I don't swipe it across the face. I sort of just push it in. I don't apply it everywhere. I remember years ago when I first purchased this product because I've used it before, I was smearing it all over my whole face and I thought it didn't work well. But the purpose of this is not so much to cover every area. It's to look for areas where you have enlarged pores and want to fill in like what I'm doing around the nose just to give you a smoother look for those areas. So while that dries down, I'd like to show you one that's so affordable that is very similar to the texture, the feel of this, and keeping your makeup on longer. I've been testing them out on each side of my face for work, and I really can't tell a difference at the end of the day. And this is the Maybelline Baby Skin. Both of these products have been around a long time. But what's interesting to me is that the Benefit Professional is still a top selling product after all of these years that it's been out. Now the texture of this, I would say is a little different. It looks more like a gel where the other one seems to have a little bit of color in it. So there is slight differences there, but once they get onto your skin, they have that like silky, silicone kind of feel to it. I'm just going to put some around here, around the eyes. I love this type of product for my fine lines around the eyes. So this has been great for keeping makeup on and making my texture of my skin look so much smoother. Another one of Ulta's top selling products, which I don't have right now, so I'm going to apply the drugstore version on both sides, is the Tarte Shape Tape. The reason I don't have it, it just doesn't work for me. It is way too thick and heavy. Even when I use small amounts, I tended to get creasing during the day. If it works for you, that's amazing because it really does offer great coverage. I love this one from the drugstore, the affordable version, the number seven. This is their new Hydra Luminous. What I find with this concealer, it's thinner. It gives me great coverage. I put it in the inner and outer part of the eye and then blend into the under eye area. Because it's got the skincare ingredients in it, but yet it's not thick, it spreads really well. I had trouble getting the shape tape and trust me, I wanted it to work for me because it just did offer great coverage, but I couldn't get it thin enough where it would look good in the under eye after a few minutes. Immediately it might look okay, but then it started getting into my under eye. I'd love to hear in the comments if you had success with it, if you use it. It is like one of their number one selling products, but this is more affordable than number seven. I love the way it looks on my skin. I like the way it wears during the day. So I'm glad that I can save some money and have a concealer that I'm really happy with. Another very popular product that I have repurchased is from MAC. It's their Painterly Paint Pot. Now these paint pots are often used as eyeshadow. That was the main purpose, but this one a lot of people use as an eyeshadow primer. It's got a little bit of pink to it. It really helps the shadows stay on well. I'm going to put that on this eye and it what I like about this product is it gets rid of the discoloration on my eyes. So I actually bring it into the inner corner. Now I've used this and the ochre. Soft ochre is another shade. That is more of a neutral tone where this has a little more pink. But I have used this as concealer 
to cover up my broken capillaries around the nose. Now, one that I use that is more affordable is from Sorme. I've talked about this before. This color is a little different, a lot different actually, than the MAC Painterly Pot if you look at the shade. But if I had Soft Ochre right now, which I've bought before, this is a little more along those lines. This is a neutral, which works beautifully. It also works great around my nose to cover up any uh, broken capillaries. I will put this on often as a concealer in those areas. And then as an eyeshadow primer, it is amazing. So even though these are different shades, I just wanted to show you how great a product like this can be for giving you a primer, a great base for your shadows, and also covering discoloration. I love the one I've talked about that's so affordable from Wet n Wild, but that doesn't offer this kind of coverage. I know many of you want to look where you can't see any discoloration in the eye area. So this is really a great one for that. It's not super low price. I think it runs around $14 or $15, but it lasts so long. I've had this months and months and I still have tons of product. It's still working great. And I love what it does for my eyelids and for getting ready to apply shadow. I don't have any dupes for these yet. I'm gonna get started looking, but I wanna know if you're even interested. This palette is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is her Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. I love these shades. I know I've done polls and some of you weren't that interested in dupes for eyeshadows. So I want to find the dupes you're interested in. So let me know in the comments below. Today I'm just going to go with a neutral look. She has this divided into four sections. Happy Glow, Love Glow, Dream Glow, and Seduce. I'm going to school. I'm going to go with the Happy Glow. And I do love this very neutral shade for the eyes. And I find that this palette is very pigmented. Look at the pigment on that. That's quite a bit. I don't usually get that just going across a shadow. So it is very pigmented. So I'm going to sort of tone it down a little bit. Maybe take my Huda brush too that I used for the concealer and go around the edges and just blend that out a little bit. I'm not going to even put any more on the brush. I'm just going to use what I've got here because this really surprised me. I just bought it recently because I was wanting to dupe it, but if you're not interested, I won't waste your time with that. But let me know in the comments also what brands you'd like me to do. One that I'm working on now for you is Hourglass. A lot of you recently said in a poll that you were very interested in Hourglass. So please let me know because I only want to do the brands you're interested in and the type of product. Are you interested in blush, uh, foundation? Just let me know and I'll be happy to work on that for you. I really like this look. It's a little dramatic for school but I'll just blend it out a little bit. One of the top selling eyeliners is Urban Decay 24-7. I think one of the reasons is all of the shades they offer. There is such a huge range. The one I bought is called Double Life, and this has a little bit of metallic to it. It's so beautiful. So if you're looking for unusual shades, shades that the drugstore doesn't have, then I think that's a good place to go to for that. Now, much more affordable is the Essence, the Extreme Lasting Liner. I wear this often. This is the shade I really love. It's a brown, I think it's espresso, yes. But for espresso, it's number uh, two. So even though this has the bit of uh, metallic to it, I'm gonna go ahead and use it today on the more expensive side that I'm working on. It's really a beautiful shade. If you're looking for like purples and mauves, that line has so many great choices. And then of course the Essence. Now the Essence 
says it lasts 16 hours. And of course, this is supposed to last 24 hours. I don't really need 24. 16 is good enough for me. That's about how long I probably wear my makeup during the day. But both of these are great choices. Like I said, if you're looking for something different, then I think Urban Decay has a lot to offer. For mascara, I just popped on some of the Maybelline New Surreal Mascara. I've only used it one day, but so far so good. I really love it. I like the color of it. It seems to be intense enough to make my lighter lashes show up. So I'm pretty happy with this. I'll give you a better review once I use it longer. Now let's start working on the complexion. We're going to use one of the top selling products at Ulta and that is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Now, I've had this for years. I've purchased it several times. I'm in the shade Light Medium. The one negative about the affordable side, which is going to be the Misha, the perfect cover, is that there's a very limited shade range. I'm in the shade, let's see, this is number 27, Honey Beige, and it looks very different the shades than the it. So when I put them side by side, they're not going to look like the same at all. But I wanted you to see how it looks on my skin more than the actual color. The one from Misha is very neutral and the one from It Cosmetics has a little more of a peach tone to it. A little more of a tan look where the other one is much more neutral. This is a warmer look is what I should say. Now, what I like about both of these is I can go up under the eyes. And I prefer, instead of my fingers, to go in with a brush, push in the product, like dab it like this, and then I go back with my fingers in any area that I see like that didn't get into the pores or looks like it's in a line, a mini line, like around the lips. I will go and just sort of go like this and blend it in with my warmth of my fingers. But I've tried putting this on many different ways and this seems to give me the best look when I do this. And by the way, right now I'm using the Refer brush, the number five. I like the size of this brush. It's pretty good size for my face. And I will also bring this down onto the neck now this has the 50 plus sunscreen and so does the Misha. So both of them are products that have sunscreen. And I like this amount of coverage for work. It's not too dramatic, but it covers up any discoloration that I have on my skin and just makes it look healthier and smoother. And I go a little under the nose and then we'll start with the Misha. I'm going to use my double dome Delium brush for this side. This is going to be fun because these definitely are different shades. So it's going to be interesting. And would you believe today is class picture day? <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to have to do after this video to get everything ready for class picture day, but I definitely don't want to have two different looks on my face. But I really wanted you to see what you thought of like the, the luminosity of the product, how you thought they looked side by side. You don't often see that. People usually try to match the shade, and I think that even makes it harder sometimes to see the difference. So maybe with this way, we'll be able to see good. I'm amazed at how beautiful this looks, the luminosity on the skin. I see that the Misha, which sort of surprises me, looks a little more luminous than the it. This has dried to a little more of a matte look, where to me, this has a little more shimmer to it, glow, I would say. I'm going to stop and see what you think. Put in the comments, what difference do you see between the it and the Misha? 
for me, it's a little different because I'm sitting in here looking, you know, at the mirror with the lights. It's sometimes hard for me to see, but from what I can tell sitting here, I see more luminosity from the Misha than I do the It. Wow, it amazes me that even though these shades were different, when I swatched them on my hands, they pretty much looked the same on my face. So what I my takeaway from this is definitely the Misha is more luminous, gives great coverage, just like the It. Now the price difference is a lot. So I will have all the prices and the products in the description of the video. If you just hit the more button, they're all there. But I could buy three Misha for the price of one It and maybe a little less than that. So that's fantastic. One powder that so many of you requested that I purchase and try out because it's all over social media is the Joy. This is the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. This is one I've seen over and over on Instagram. Actually, the owner of Joy, she puts it on and I've seen it many times. So I'm just gonna apply that all over. I'm not gonna have a different powder for each side but I wanted you to see how it would look on top of the It and on top of the Misha. So far, I've used this several times. I really love this powder. It's very blurring, I feel like, and it takes the shine off. And I love the packaging too of it. It looks very, very luxe. So overall, I think it's a great powder. If this is something in your price range, I think it ran around $28. But again, I'll have all the pricing in the description of the video. But it does take the shine off and leaves a beautiful finish. For bronzer, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer is amazing. I actually have to admit it. I just love it because it builds softly and slowly and I have no trouble applying it. I think it's so user friendly. I'm going to apply that on this side, but I have a wonderful affordable bronzer that gives me very similar results that I'm also loving. So we'll put that on. I like this on the eyes too. I have used it on my eyes for eyeshadow and it worked beautifully for that. Let's put a little on the nose. And I like to bring the bronzer even down on my neck. Just adds a little warmth. And onto the chest. Now for the affordable side, the NYX Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Light. This feels so similar, gives a similar look. I'll take a different brush. And you will see, I couldn't believe how similar they were when I swatched the shades out. And what I like about the NYX, it has that same quality that the Charlotte does as far as it doesn't go on too heavy. A lot of bronzers I've tried from the drugstore just go on so harsh, you have to be really careful, get the right amount of powder out off the brush. You have to blend it so carefully. It's just high maintenance. But this is what I would call a very low maintenance bronzer as well as Charlotte's. But to compare the sizes in the pan here, you can see the difference. But this is the type of product you're not gonna have to rebuy very often. And the NYX is simply fabulous. Let's talk about blush. I would have to say the blush I think looks pretty much the most beautiful on my skin is from Daniel Sandler. It's his watercolor, cheek color. This is so thin you can't even see it on the skin. It's really amazing. This is the shade Angel. Now I've bought several shades of this and I've never been disappointed. You can see how it's running, it really is the texture of water. This is a lot different than a cream blush because the cream blush, you're going to maybe even see a little of that on your skin, but this just sinks in literally like water and looks so beautiful. His blush usually has some luminosity to it, but not over the top. So I really think it's perfect for mature skin. 
Now, the closest I've found, because trust me, I have looked for dupes, is this one, Juicy Pang Blusher. I have several shades of this. Now, this comes actually, it looks like nail polish, a little applicator, and you just paint it on the skin. Now, again, this is not a shade dupe at all, but I wanted you to just see. Now, the great thing about these, and I'll show you in just a moment, is you can mix the shades and make your own unique shade. And because it's so thin on the skin, it's not going to build up like, say, a cream blush might if you're mixing so much. So now that you can see the two sides, I'm going to mix. On this side, I'm going to add a drop of the Daniel Sandler on this side, and then I'll put a little of the Juicy Pang on this side so we can make them look similar. You can apply these with your finger. That's another thing that's great, but if you don't want to do that, you can just take a, a brush. I usually like to take a brush at the end and just go around the edges to make sure everything is well blended, but that's it, and these are just both amazing blushes that are perfect for mature women. I just applied some of my house laboratories lip liner. I can't be without lip liner anymore. It makes such a difference. So I did that. And before I get into lips, I want to show you something I think is amazing. I just bought these. I'm super excited about these. Now, one expensive product I saw online are these gloves that have copper in them and are used to protect your hands from the sun while you're driving, while you're outside. The Illuminates gloves cost around $44, $45. Well, I found these from one of my favorites, Alana Mitchell. She is an esthetician that started her own skincare line several years ago, right around the time I came on YouTube, I think around nine or 10 years ago. And her gloves are so much more affordable. So I bought these. I'm super excited because when you're driving in the car, your hands are on the wheel. And I think as we age, these spots start popping up. So these gloves, now you got to remember I'm a Floridian, so I want something that's cool. They have an area here where it lets the air through and it's very cooling. And these are called anti-aging protective copper gloves with an SPF of 50. So I think these are absolutely amazing. Your fingers are left out, so that way if I need to make a phone call, I can still do all of that. It protects the top of my hands. So for now, I'm going to keep these in the car so I will have them when I'm driving. But I think I'll probably buy a second pair so that if I'm just going out for a walk and I'm not getting into my car, I'll have a pair in the house. But these are supposed to work with the copper for anti-aging, and I think these are going to be great. But even if the copper makes no difference at all, I don't have to keep putting sunscreen on my hands. And I will often forget to do that if I'm going out of the house running to drive somewhere. So having these gloves, I think, will really help my hands over time. All right, I've talked about this before, but I wanted to share it in case you didn't see the video. This is the Fenty Cream uh, Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Mauve Wives. Now, these shades are a little different, but again, on the lips, a lot of these so-called dupes, you can't, even if the shades don't match perfectly, they do look very similar on your skin. But what I'm talking about with this is more about texture. Now, I actually like the affordable one better because of the scent. Uh, the one I'm going to show you that's affordable, I think, is much more pleasant than the Fenty, actually. I love the look of a cream gloss. I think that's so pretty. Now, the one that I love so much is from NYX. It's This is Milky. I've talked about this brand several times, this particular product, because if it had a more bougie or luxe look to the packaging, I think it would be flying off the shelves. But this is so beautiful. I love the formula. You would think it was a high-end gloss, 
This is more of like a vanilla scent. This shade in particular is UB Milkshake, but I really prefer the NYX because of just the scent of the product. Let me know in the comments which one of these was your favorite product. And again, if you have any dupes you'd like me to find, please let me know below. I'll do the best that I can to try to find those for you. Or even a brand. Are you interested in Rare Beauty? Are you interested in Hourglass, Dior, Chanel? What are the types of brands that you're wondering, are these any good? Are these comparable with anything from the drugstore? I always like finding things that you are interested in. I love you all so much. Remember to catch me on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern. And don't forget, I have a new shorts channel where I'm dancing with my husband called Grooving Over 50. I am loving the comments that I'm getting from you all that have been going over there. I appreciate your encouragement so much. We're having so much fun. Let's spread the love. We need more love in this world. Peace, love, and happiness to all of you.